eating better is easier with cool produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Just color your plate with two fruits and three veggies every day. Cool Uzodwala. These five South Africans are ready to show off their cooking skills to impress the judges and win big to become Mzansi's next cooking star. Fresh produce grown right here in Mzansi. Hi, we've got you. Eating better starts with cool five a day. Just add two fruits and three veggies to your daily meals. As we said to make eating better easier, color your plate with cool. Contestants, congratulations on making it this far. I think you can all give yourselves a warm round of applause. Hey, my name is Nokolo Winifunani. I'm from Port Elizabeth, a place called Kadeha. Today I'm bringing my A game to the competition and nail it. <laughs> I'm Mitch Beitenach. I'm from the state, the Free State in Virginia, and I love my cooking. I'm Chantal August. I'm gonna bring personality, sass, and a lot of spice. I am Yolanda Banana. I'm a mother of one. The place where I am happy the most is the kitchen. My family likes my food a lot. I always try new things at home. Keep it healthy, keep it simple, but you are enjoying the cooking. You each have something special to share with Mzanzi, and this is your opportunity to showcase your talent. Today's hero ingredient is one of the favorite that we all love as South Africans. It's always part of the Sunday lunch, part of the seven colors. Yes, you may have guessed it, we are talking about the beetroot. It gives you color and of course more nati, and it's great for your overall well-being. And to tell us more about it, let's meet our five-a-day superstar. My name is Ms. Cosmo, I am a hip-hop DJ, a radio presenter and a music producer. I really love both DJing as well as being a radio presenter, but I think the connection that I have with the listeners is always mind-blowing because you get people calling in from different parts of the country, expressing themselves and expressing how they love the music and the connection is amazing. When you were growing up, I used to really enjoy my mom's Sunday cooking, that seven colors that comes onto the plate. Don't really have time for it anymore because I'm so busy on the weekend, having to go from a gig back to the radio station. So what I typically do is I actually pack some of the Sunday lunch and bring it with me into the studio. And it is quite sad because I can't be with my family, but at least I get to enjoy that seven color plate, beetroot being that seventh color on the plate. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here. Really keen to actually taste what you prepared for today. Are you excited? Yes! yes. <laughs> Beetroot is one of the stars of Sondagkos, and we all know how long it takes to create a good weekend meal. Your challenge today is to create a plate that doesn't only look, but also tastes like a Sunday lunch. But you only have one hour to prepare it. To find some inspiration, Ruben and I took a trip to South Africa's breadbasket, Limpopo, to see how this main member, Yes Seven Colors, is produced. Now, Arthur, beetroot is such a versatile vegetable. I mean, you can juice it, roast it, you can use it in salads, and it's quite fashionable as well nowadays. I mean, and to see it grown at this scale, right on our doorstep. Yes, Ruben, you know, farming is a big part of South Africa, and Ku, being a proudly South African brand, supports local farmers. That's why our produce is sourced right here at home. Yes, Arthur, and you can see these plants are really nice and healthy by just looking at their color. But I think the real magic is what happens here under the ground. Ah, absolutely perfect. Beets have been adding a beautiful color to plates across Mzanzi since day one. And you know what? Plate is a plate without the main member, yes, seven colors. Mm. So awesome just to taste it straight out of the ground. Earthy, super sweet, but look at that color. Yes, and beetroot is one of my favorite veggies and is great for your everyday well-being. Plus, that beautiful color makes ordinary meals Instagram worthy. Now I'm really inspired. I think we're going to have some fun with this challenge. Mm, I see you guys had lots of fun without me there, Colin Popo. <laughs> what have you got underneath there for us, Ruben? To get the creative juices flowing, we've prepared a dish 
with beetroot as the hero. Ooh. There you have beetroot and herbed goat cheese strudel, minted mushy peas, paprika roasted chicken on the side. Taste away and let us see what you think about it. Beetroot is quite versatile. It's got natural sweetness, but it also does well with a little bit of acidity. The addition of goat's cheese, it's sort of like a classic combination, goes really well. The mushy peas has got a little bit of mint added to it, together with the goat cheese works really well. The phyllo adds a bit of texture to the dish and I think elevates the beetroot. And the chicken just rounds it off as a full and balanced dish. I was like gobsmacked. I'm like, wow, you can actually put beetroot in a pastry. It works, eh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now that you have seen this plate, remember that your plate needs to be full of color, it needs to be balanced, it needs to be wholesome, and more importantly, it needs to be something that you can easily recreate at home. And of course, it has to be packed with flavor and creativity. Guys, you each have one hour to color your plate. Okay, here's the catch. The pantry is here behind me with all the fresh ingredients and pantry staples that you can dream of. Right. You'll each have one and a half minutes in the pantry and we'll send you in one at a time to adhere to social distancing. Once your time is up, the pantry is off limits. But for your convenience, your favorite crew product is available for you right throughout the hour. Ready to go? I am ready just like crew products. Ooh, counting it down in three, two, one, go! Currently, I'm being a food stylist and being a lifestyle influencer plays a huge role in me cooking because of most of people currently, they are following me because of the dishes I put. And most of the time, I'm trying to show people that you can have a healthy plate without even putting a lot of time on it. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay, you have one minute left. Ooh, everybody loves the wine, yes. <laughs> I'm very social, very bubbly. I'm always laughing. <laughs> My cooking skills are the best. If I will make it to something delicious. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. The time is up. Ooh. Your basket's full. <laughs> Contestants, you've gathered your ingredients, you've worked your plans, for your winning dish with beetroot as the hero. Are you good to go? Yes! <laughs> Ready, steady, color your plate. More color on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072 741 5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzodwal. Color your plates with the main member, your seven colors. Cool features. Eat it daily for your everyday well being. Cool Uzodwal. Ready, steady, color your plates. We live with a family of eight and I do most of the cooking and according to my family, I cook the best. My mother actually passed away last week. God, to may us all rest in peace. So I thought I'll wear one of her coats, one of her favorite coats, just for some good luck and to have a year with me during this competition. I like to mix it up. I'm going to give it my best shot. I think I can manage to make it all happen in an hour. I think I can make my mom proud. I'm going to put the beetroot into my salad and I'm going to put the chutney beetroot into my uh, main dish. My family loves my cooking, especially my granddaughter. She never used to eat vegetables until she visited her grandfather. Today, what would be your deal breaker? beetroot needs to be the star. It needs to be the hero of the dish and uh, we want to see beetroot being used in more creative ways and, and incorporated into the dish. I'm a little bit nervous but yeah, I'm getting there. I have been cooking for long. Since I'm growing up, I was the only girl at home. So yes, I need to make sure that everybody 
has to eat. I've never like cooked a Sunday meal within an hour. That is a challenge. I just have to up my game. Dumela Rad, what's cooking here? I'm making a chicken with veggies. I'm spicing my chicken with paprika, smoked, and coriander, and just a little bit of soy sauce. Today I am going to use the simple ingredients that we always have at home. I'm going to cook mashed potatoes, which I'm gonna put cool green peas in it. And then I'm gonna do a salad, which I'm gonna use cool beans. Today I'm cooking pap beef stew with carrot and potatoes. I'm also making a butternut on the other side. I see using uh, the grated spice beetroot, also one of my favorites. How are you going to incorporate it into your dish? I'm going to add my beetroot with an apple. I'm You're going to add apple to it? Taste. Lovely. <laughs> I always use beetroot on my Sunday dish. The beetroot itself, the color, it just pops up so nice, the radish. What else is going with it? It's going with the beef stew. Oh, beef stew? Yes. Wow. Okay, smell that. Mm. <laughs> smells <laughs> delicious. <laughs> It's a chicken, the old traditional way, but I'm going to add a touch of wine in it today. So I hope that goes well with the judges. The beetroot, I'm still working on that one. Uh, my beetroot, I'm going to put a little bit of fruit, and this is one of my ingredients from cool plus the cool beetroot as well. The ribbon dish, it had that texture of a little bit of cheesy, creamy, hence I got inspired and in my beetroot I used avocado. You have half an hour to go! Woo! I'm trying to make my own thing today, it's all about me. <laughs> my puppets mixed with the spinach because I like the color, a little bit of olive oil, make it soft. I'm making a chicken chakalaka casserole and a three bean coon salad as well as sweet potato chips and a nice savory rice to accompany it with. In my dish, I'm heroing the beetroot in the mains, which is in the chicken casserole. I'm using the spicy diced chutney beetroot and I'm gonna be using the sliced beetroot in my three bean salad. I do cook with beetroot often, but then making it as a main dish, that is a bit challenging. Which beetroot are you using? I've used the grated. Grated. And the I'm already finished. Oh, okay. So how's yeah. that all going to come together in your meal? Food. <laughs> I'm not super, then I'm hoping. Okay, you got to get a move on. Time is ticking. Yeah, yeah. You guys have 20 minutes left, so get those plates coloured. Where's the beet coming in? The beet is going to be part of the salads for, for the Sunday lunch. Will it stand out enough to yes, be like yes. the star? No, definitely. It really looks like they're sticking a lot to the beef right now because I'm seeing a lot of the vegetables being used in their dishes. Mm. Ms. Cosmo, and you know what I love as well is that there's a lot of sides yes. and less nyama. Yes, which is really good. I can't wait to taste it. Oh, it's going to be yummy. <laughs> Hey, the sweat is dripping down my neck and I'm feeling the pressure and I'm thinking I still need to have a fish cake and I still need to do this and there's no more time left. 10 minutes to go, keep it moving. My chicken is ready, my salad is ready. I still had a few more things that I would like to put on the plate but there was no time. I'm already finished. I'm impressed with my food. <laughs> Uh, it looks like when he is done, she stood away from her plate. Uh, a lot of time left. What do you think that's confidence? Or do you think she should use that time? Well, let's wait and see if she has done enough. Well, let's hope she's done enough. I almost burned my pumpkin, but it's because of the sugar. My pots are burning. I was doing a butternut. I did use a butter with a sugar with cinnamon so that doesn't need to to stay long in a pot i was busy with other salads but those burning stuff i'm not gonna put them in my plate i was watching my plate i decided there's no green color there let me just quickly run and grab some piece and add it on my plate 
60 seconds to go. I hope you're plating or else you're in trouble. Five, four, three, two, one. Your time is up. Step away from your plates. Well done everyone, congratulations. It's time for us to taste. Color your plates with tasty cool peaches that you can snack on any time of the day. Koo uzotwala. Koo uzotwala. I'm quite excited to get to tasting, so let's get in the first dish. Yes. Hey girl. Hey. Mm -hmm. Your lander. I've seen the other dishes for the other contestants. Mine was quite simple. I've paired a baby marrow and carrot gravy. I've mixed the chutney beetroot and grated beetroot. And then I've got also the sweet potato and the chicken. Okay. Nice, Yolanda. Thank you very much. We're going to taste now. Thank you. It's quite strange because I was like calm the whole day, but then okay, it's fine. When I was cooking, then I was a bit nervous. Only now the nerves are starting to kick in. Enjoy. I like the touch of the sweet potato instead of starch like rice or pap. I yeah. can taste the chutney coming through and the beetroot as well because she did mix it up a little bit. I love it because it just balances the sweetness really well. Do you think that she actually made a beetroot the hero of her dish? She really hit the brief in terms of that Sunday lunch dish. But yeah, I think the beet is still sort of used as a side yeah. instead of where it's used creatively to add something else sort yeah. of to the dish. Mm. Mm. Look at that! <laughs> You've done yourself over there, Mitch. Yes. Looking good. Beetroot's a quality of its own. You, you, you can't really add much to it, let's be honest. It's what you do with all the other ingredients that surround it. Let me start by the rice. I grated some onion with it and uh, green pepper. And then on the corn there you see it's got a baked potato underneath mm. with, with some cheese. The chicken I first boiled and then I fried it. And obviously I added some wine on it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they say, everybody's palates are not the same, their taste buds. To be honest, the beetroot is not working for me. In his description of the dish, he was talking about all the flavors, but beetroot is the euro of the dish, and he said, oh, I just put it on the plate. Mm. 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 That's so mm. true, because yeah. I saw that even with how he had done the cheese and the corn, which was mind-blowing, but mm. Beetroot's literally just like the last portion that he had added in, mm. which is what we normally do on a Sunday, but mm. we wanted a little bit more, a little more something pizzazz. Else. Some something, something. Yes. Yes. I mean, we all know that we enjoy it as it is, but what I like is the different colors that I see on the plate, the use of peas, beetroot, and, you know, the corn. Definitely. Hey, Winnie. Hey, Winnie. Hey. Hello. Hey. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. I really hope that I'm gonna win because I did nail it. I decided to go for an easy meal. Dipeke ipapa with a beef stew and a chakalaka with beetroot with a little bit of apple. I wish they can love my food. I hope and pray that the taste is good. On a, a good Sunday, you'll be happy with that. Mm -hmm. I think time-wise, in terms of the beef, it was a stretch. Yeah. That hour was maybe not enough time to take that on. I thought she was very ambitious to do that. Mm. And she actually finished before time, but I think she could have used that 10 minutes just to soften up the beef just a so. little bit. Yeah, mm. but also I think, you know, on Sunday, it's an opportunity to add that five a day that we're looking for. Yes. And the addition of peas, which were last minute, I think also just created different color. You have the red, you have the green, you have the yellow, which is a nice contrast on this plate. At least. She tried to spice or jazz up the beetroot a little bit. Yes. She added some apple to it, mm. which I mean, beetroot and apple is actually such a good combination mm. together. But yet again, beetroot's not really the euro in this dish. Ooh, absolutely love your presentation. I left the fish cake out, which I really wanted to impress the judges with because I used the cool pulchards in that. But I couldn't make it, unfortunately it's not there. Today I prepared a chicken chutney casserole, chakalaka in it as well, and I made a three bean beetroot salad as well as a brown rice lentil fried rice. I don't think I've done what I've wanted to do. Time was not on my side, but I'm reasonably happy with my dish. I think I can make my mom proud. <laughs> 
I quite like how she um, used the beetroot in this dish. I liked how she prepared the chicken. It's quite a bit of flavors. Actually, she was a, about to bring in a different ingredient onto her meal. She was actually going to use uh, pilchards. And I saw that halfway through, she kind of actually decided to change her mind. Do you think that was a good idea? I think that was a very <laughs> good idea because mm. I think the whole dish just has worked in her favor. That three bean salad with evo and beetroot is totally inspired. Mm. Mm. Basil, the, the mm. touch of freshness. Hello, Rato. Hey. Hello. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Yeah. When I presented that plate, I know I did my best. I made a grilled chicken with veggies and I made mashed potato with green peas and butternut as a fresh veg. And I made a salad using one of my favorite cool beans, which is buttered beans. I tried something different with my beetroot. I tried to mix my beetroot with lots of foods. I know I did my best, but it's up to the judges. How are they going to feel about the food after tasting them? Guys, there's got to be something to be said about effort on this plate. Mm, yes. I mean, I love the way she's treated our hero, uh, the beet, with some peaches. Yes. There's some mushrooms I'm spotting, some raisins. Yeah, in a bit of corn as well. It's a little bit busy, but I think for her, she was just trying to say, look, I can do different things. Mm. One big problem here, you can see my chicken is oh. not uh, fully cooked. And as we know, we can't even, we can't taste uh, chicken that's still raw. You can get sick. Mm. I like the um, addition of the, the sesame seeds on yes. top. You know, I think it could have given it a nice taste. That beetroot salad together with the corn, I mean, and the peaches, it works for me. If I could win today, I'd be very happy. I think I did my best with the food. I really tried. Crossing my fingers, hoping that I, I've made it. Winning will mean so much to me. It will open up a lot of doors. Taking my cooking skills further. Congratulations. You should truly be proud. You put your best foot in the kitchen. However, it's still a competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yolanda, for me, your dish was a bit muted on color and creativity, but overall a good balanced plate of food. If this is the food you cook at home, you should be proud of yourself. Thank you. Mitch, I had to of what you did with the hoener, the use of the wine. What I wel wou gehad het, die beet moes a bykie iets aan gedoen geword het. Ek dink jou tyd het uitgehaard loop en toe voeg jy net die beet by. So dit is my enigste kritiek op die boor. Baie dankie. Chantel, great presentation. You know, you always eat with your eyes first, so absolutely 10 out of 10 on that. Um, I love just how you use the beat as the hero, but I think your rice will let you down a tad. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Winnie, really enjoyed your meal. You definitely brought out the seven colors with that one. And of course, you gave in your local flavors with the pap as well as the chakalaka. However, your beef wasn't well cooked, but overall, I still enjoyed it. Thank you. Lerato, last but not least, I mean your culinary creativity in the kitchen came through. You really spoiled us for choice. I loved what you did with the beetroot, the peaches, just really, really unique touch. But I think what let you down is your chicken. Um, it was quite rare. But other than that, great effort. Contestants, we have deliberated and we've made our decision. Ms. Cosmo, it's your honors. Woo! This is getting exciting. Under this is the winner of this week's winning plate. Do you think you had what it take to win? Are you the winner for today? Mm -hmm. Should we go? Yes. <laughs> and the winner is... Chantelle! Oh my gosh, it's my plate. I can't believe this. I just I just know my mother was with me during this time. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations, Chantelle. I can see how proud you are of this dish as well. You definitely hit all of the points when it came to a balanced meal. The taste was impeccable, the colour was definitely there and the use of the hero on this meal was just outstanding. As the winner of today's round of the competition, you're walking away with a hamper worth over 4,000 Rand. 
that includes Le Creuset kitchenware, a Nutribullet and some delicious cool products. Plus, you've coloured your plate to the finale. For the finale, I'm definitely bringing my A game. Now I know what to expect. Now I can prepare myself nicely and I'm definitely walking away with that grand prize. Next time on Colour Your Plate with Koo, five brand new and excited contestants battle it out to earn a spot in the grand finale. And joining the judging panel is one of the country's best love acting sensations, Karishma Basde. The best way to colour your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Koo Uzo Dwan.